lot of talk during the week about taking final shots when there's donuts on the line. Does anyone ask you the question whether you should get that final shot? But you had a chat about it. Um, seriously, yeah. um, during the week. Uh, there's two things we wanted to have a look at during the week. It was the, the end play from the Cairns Adelaide game about playing to the buzzer, you know, celebrating with two seconds and giving a chance to an opposition team and that not being part of our persona. Um, we're going to play to the final bell. Now, to play to the final bell means that you're going to have to play to the final bell. Now, there was, um, th th there's this issue right now where, you know, you've got some players who want to make a beef at the end of the game when it's over. Now they want to fight or they want to get, freaking hell, you've had 40 minutes to get you to make your point. So make your point when it matters. We're playing to the end. And, um, you know, feeding the people donuts is uh, something we have to do, then we'll have to do it. But that's not the reason why. We want to just play to the end. We've taken, well, this is the way. And for us, it's not, a, as I said, it's not about donuts. It's percentage is going to come. And I don't want to be in that traffic jam where you lose by percentage on an important position on the ladder, whether it be finishing in top two, finishing in the top four, or missing the six. I don't want to be a part of who we are. So you try and do everything you can. Um, and I think it's good, I think it's Aussie culture also to, to play the game out, respect the game to the end. So I know it's a little bit hard. I know it's very cool to dribble out a clock. I'd rather be unfashionably playing playoffs. Uh, the 102 points, so it did feel for most of the night, no matter what lineup you had, that you were able to, to get the stuff that you wanted and the, and the looks that you wanted. Uh, didn't like our foul line looks, but um, yeah, no, we, we were pretty sharp um, without being great. I um, thought one of the issues, I don't mean this to sound disrespectful, but I, I thought we got anything we wanted early and sometimes we just took the wrong option. Um, uh, it was like, okay, can we get a better shot if we kick it around the horn a couple of times? You know, we had this guy in the opposite corner getting pinned downs and we're getting buckets every time. Do we need to get a shot on the first side of our offense? Um, so I think there's areas where we could have been better with our decision making, but yeah, I mean, I'm not going to complain about 100 and whatever it was points. Hey Joe, keep asking you about him, but it seemed tonight again, um, a couple of games back, that, that he looked like he was in better touch or whether that was the wind or whatever it was, but he seemed like he was able to be a factor and the size mattered in this game. Yeah, um, I mean, he's got himself a double-double. Um, the things I'm looking at is just how is he carrying in his hands defensively. And I thought there were some good moments there tonight where he had him up and changed some shots and and uh, had him up and got some defensive boards. And, and, and those are the things that, um, you know, we're going to gauge where he's at. You know, where is he impacting from that end? You know, the putbacks and all that, sometimes you can get that when you're not fit because he's seven foot six wingspan and he's and he's a, you know, the man with has got touch. But, um, I thought there was some really good positives for Joe, particularly defensively. And um, yeah, look, he's a ripping kid and um, he makes us better. Uh, defense, I heard you talk the other night about pressuring the ball and creating those turnovers. Is, does that feel like that's a big part of, of what you're trying to do? The points on turnovers, again, were a factor tonight. Yep. So you were happy with the defensive performance overall? Um, Uh, I wanted to keep them the seven threes below. Um, we, we didn't get tick that box off. Uh, I thought they got some open looks in that first quarter from behind the arc, which I th they didn't make them, um, which I thought we let ourselves down. Um, our communication was off on a couple of sets. Um, but we're, we're making inroads, we're getting better. Trey, uh, what did you think of the offense? How did it feel? And you guys have now played a few games together in terms mm -hmm. of the starting five, but um, as I sort of mentioned, it, feel like you guys were able to execute. Yeah, it's kind of like what he said. Just, um, you know, was, there we got some pretty good looks, you know, the first thought. But uh, I feel like the times we got really good looks, we were patient, you know, waited till, you know, 10, 9 on the shot clock, and we we're getting really good looks. Um, but, I mean, yeah, it was just one of those games, though, where there didn't really seem to be a wrong option, whether it's, you know, sauce in the post, creep, you know, attacking. Uh, me coming off curls, you know, Gary, you know, getting downhill and finding people just kind of all flowed. And, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, you saw it out there today. Uh, you've been working through the ankle a little bit. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm good. Um, you know, just managing it day to day. But, 
I mean, when I'm out there, I feel fine. So we all good. This will be the Thursday's uh, throwdown. Should be a pretty hot ticket with uh, Melbourne winning last night and you guys winning today. Um, should be easy sell for the fans of Melbourne. I don't care about the fans of Melbourne, it should be the fans of South East Melbourne. I hope they get uh, get in early and get some tickets. Um, no, I'll take that back. I like my friends over there at Melbourne United. Yeah, look, um, they've got Shaley back, they've got Ice back. Um, they had themselves a good win last night. Um, be awesome um, for Victorian basketball if we can sell out and um, you know, have a really good contest.